Hello everyone and welcome to Telecom TV's Super Panel from Barcelona. The first commercial 5G networks are now being deployed. User devices, mobile devices are about to come to market. New digital services are about to launch. 5G is upon us. Where do we see the biggest investments from CSPs and indeed enterprises in 5G infrastructure. As far as the investment, um, you know, you're seeing a lot of investment currently in the 4G technology, so that is by far a complementary technology and that's going to continue to grow. So when we look to 5G investment, one, we'll put 5G on top of 4G for enhanced mobile broadband. But I think the customers that we all talk to in the enterprise are looking for an edge compute solution. Is the infrastructure readiness you know, all the way back into the core to enable the applications and services that um, that our customers run today. Uh, our end users start asking for not just infrastructure, but infrastructure that is upgradable, that's virtualized, that's more cloud native, and inherently carries the edge compute element. What are the essential infrastructure elements that need to be in place as we make the business case for 5G? So the, I think the attributes are critical, and, and, and what I mean by that is it's gotta be virtualized, it's gotta be, I think it has to be ubiquitous to some level, and you have to be able to abstract it up. You need an HPE box sold to the customer, and then you needed AT&T's VNF riding on it. <laughs> we definitely need to show what we are achieving the SLA we can achieve, a service level agreement, so we need a bit of tool to be able to show what is the real quality we have achieved on our infrastructure. You need to get fiber, you need to have deep fiber to be able to move around information. How do we ensure that the enterprise truly trusts the things we move in because there's an inherent security concern? Think about the things that we're doing with that, uh, you know, on the gambling side, it has to be a secure blockchain. Which use cases and markets or industries do we see as having the, the, the greatest leverage from 5G? Some people have called this the fourth industrial revolution. I don't think that's very far off because this is going to hit all sorts of entities. It's almost like you can pick your, uh, pick your vertical that you're going to go down. We've been actually working with several cloud gaming providers. We believe that the council is going to go away. A lot of these games are actually going to come, instead of running the cloud, play close to the cloud, give you the user experience without relying on an expensive console. It may not be the things that are catchy for press headlines, but it's some of these real-world business applications. That's why smart venues are taking off, because the ROI exists. What is going to be the impact of 5G on Wi-Fi in general? I think it's always going to be there as a part of it, and it's going to evolve in a complementary fashion. And the cool thing about our network now is it's software-based. Now, over a cellular umbrella covering your facilities, your hotels, you can take that data set and drop it into your data center and do what you want with it. There may be new experiences you can bring to your customers around a, a more you know, a, a entertainment experiences that are more immersive than just the television. Is this gonna uh, enable operators to compete with broadcasts or, or, or is it a collaboration? How do you see that unfolding? Think about 5G as a service, a mobilized high throughput capability that you can stand up and turn down, shoot it and move on. So. I think the broadcast space is uh, looking forward to new revenue generation streams. When you look at 5G millimeter wave, all of a sudden, because we're using the density of 4G, and you're talking about gigabit bandwidth, all of a sudden the whole dynamic of the whole industry changes. I actually saw this at the All-Star game. They actually overlay the video on the data. It's the other way around. So NBC actually broadcasts this. You could see the the puck going, you can see that all the stats are coming along, and the storytelling it become much more phenomenal. Now you're telling a story, it's not just about a game. You have a story of the player, you have a story of the game. You all of a sudden makes it much more transparent to the user experience, it's so much better. I really think it's a game changer. Thank you all in our audience for, 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 for joining us tonight. I'd like to thank all our guests, much appreciated. Thank you.